www.mvelocid.co.uk Uh huh. Buy it. It's such a lovely. Okay. <laughs> got to bleep that out now, haven't What? Uh, it's fine. Hello YouTube. How's everybody? I am out on Pinky because Pinky has not been out for a little while. So I decided to treat her to a couple of miles today. Oh, and the brakes are still making that noise. I do not understand what's happened to the brakes. This is the noise that it was making in Norway. And it's still making the noise now. That's pretty. That's very pretty. Oh, that's so cute. And I don't know why it's making the noise. I don't know what to do about the noise. And I told BMW that it was making the noise. And... They cleaned out the calipers, they tried to identify what the problem was and it's still making the noise. I don't know what to do next, I think the next step is going to be to change the discs which is a bunch of money that I do not have so even though it's making a horrendous noise at the moment it is still stopping so I'm not going to worry about it too much it's just a bit embarrassing when it makes the noise because it does sound like something's caught in the brakes and it's being crushed slowly and painfully Oh well. But other than that, it's lovely to be back out on Pinky. She's not seen a whole lot of action since I've had her back. I got her back after the problem with the forks. She went in the garage and she has not left the garage since. Because I've been having so much fun riding around on the AS. Going up to Canna and riding that, so I've not really needed to use Pinky. And today I took both keys to both bikes, thinking I want to take Pinky, but I'll, I'll take the AS keys with me just in case Pinky doesn't start because she hasn't been started for so long. Anyway, so we're out. We've had a very chill day. It's not too cold today. It's like 10 degrees, so I don't have my kais on today. I've just got like a hoodie and I have my base layer on, which is doing all of the work. And it's very, very lovely. The roads are a little bit muddy, but it's fine. So we have one more week until Christmas, because today is Sunday, and I think Christmas Day is like next Monday. And I'm pretty pleased with myself. This year I actually got all of my Christmas shopping done early. I got it all done at the end of November. I have wrapped all my gifts, even though I said to myself, I'm not gonna wrap stuff this year because everybody's an adult and nobody needs to unwrap things. And I was sat one evening feeling kind of miserable and I thought, you know what would cheer me up? Just wrapping presents because it's really satisfying to do, it, especially when you get like a nice rectangular box and you can wrap it really, really neatly and you feel really good about yourself. So I did that and now I'm all prepared and I've spent way too much money but it's nice to go into Christmas feeling confident in the shopping that you have done. Although I always get to like a week before Christmas and think, oh God, I could have done more. What else can I buy? But I've run out of money now, so it doesn't matter what I think, it's too late. I'm kind of hoping to see some Christmas lights on the way home. So I'm gonna go through the roads where I think there's gonna be good Christmas lights and just do a nice Christmas themed video because I don't have anything else to really talk about. I've been busily working at my desk we're going to go past all of the posh houses because the posh houses will have Christmas lights. I know one building on the way home that's got or usually has really good Christmas lights so I'm going to go past that and we're just going to appreciate the people that put lots of money into Christmas lights which I don't really understand. Um, I was never one of those houses that had Christmas lights I don't understand why you spend so much money putting lights outside your house. Like, is it an attention thing? Does it just make you happy? Like, if you're in that house, if you're in the building that's got a million blinking Christmas lights outside it, surely that's just gonna be like really disturbing and it's gonna give you a massive headache. I don't understand why people do it, but I do appreciate the people that do it because it's nice to see it. The only thing that I don't like is the ones that have like the flashing blue Christmas lights because it looks like a police car and they're absolutely everywhere 
And for the two months that people have them on their houses, you just have like intense anxiety because you think that there's police cars and ambulances absolutely everywhere and you're trying to work out if you need to pull over for it, if you're being pulled over or if it's just someone that's got lights outside their house. It's not pretty at all. The white lights, the gold lights, the red lights, they're pretty, very nice, very Christmassy. I don't understand why blue has to come into it. It doesn't look like snow. Snow isn't blue. Anyway, anyway, I just like to complain. And I'm literally complaining about something that I like, so. This is disappointing. Where are the Christmas lights? No one here has any Christmas spirit. Or everyone here is super sensible. Or one or the other. I'm gonna keep going down here and see where it goes. This might be my downfall. I don't know if this road ends up where I need it to end up or if it just keeps going on forever. I'm conscious I've got about 20 minutes of daylight left and then it's gonna start getting cold. What I need is to find one of those roads where they're all like competing to have the best Christmas lights. There's one near where I live, but it's a little bit too close to home, so I don't really want to film it, but it's, it's fun to walk past. It is blinding. If you had epilepsy, you'd have to avoid that whole street. If I didn't tell you Christmas was in a week, you would not believe it from the state of the lack of decorations. What is happening? decide how I feel about the road conditions they're kind of they're damp and you don't know if they're good or not but they haven't got icy yet we haven't really had any ice this year we've had like a week's worth not long enough for them to bother salting the roads and I kind of thought that's it that's winter now it's gonna suck for at least another two months and then it cleared up and it's been like 10 degrees ever since it's been really really nice but wet it's been wet oh you're gonna be covered in mud it's fine it's not salt so it doesn't matter oh look there's some christmas lights oh isn't that pretty right it's here it's on this corner if this house doesn't have christmas lights i give up forever Yay, here we go. Oh, it's it's okay. There's a sleigh and there's that and there's a tree. It's not as good as it has been. It's something. There's like a bunch of rich people. Where do rich people live around here? Uh, right, this might be a bad idea, but we're going to go do it anyway. Oh, this is really unpleasant. <laughs> what was I expecting? When I came down this road, I knew it wasn't going to be good. I don't know if I'm going to have to go through the ford or if there's going to be a different way that I can go when I get to it. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I can't just take stuff to a charity shop. We've got to dump it on the side of the road in a passing place. Like, why are people so lazy? I feel like it'd be more effort to be fly tipping than it would be to just get rid of stuff responsibly. Like just go to the tip. Oh, this isn't good, is it? This is gonna be flooded. How bad is it gonna be? If I have to turn around, I will. What do we reckon? Uh, uh, <laughs> that's too deep. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. Back you go. You big bitch. We're not going through that. You know what, it's a cute photo opportunity. We can pretend to the internet that we did go through it. I suppose I could have gone over the footbridge if I had thought about it. Never mind. 
Okay, bestie. Not today. We probably would have been fine. But I'm not in the mood for risking it. God, that was the biggest pothole I've ever seen in my life. That's going to be my other fucking fork gone, isn't it? Why did I come up here? What was the reasoning behind it? There was no point in that. I'm just looking for posh people houses so I can see Christmas lights. I just want to feel Christmassy. We've seen one whole house with Christmas lights. This is so disappointing. Look at all those huskies. Are you really far away so you're not going to be able to see them? You'll have to trust me. There's a woman and she's got three huskies. Three! That's enough huskies! Let me have one. Wow! Oh, they've got like reindeer. That's so cool. This person has pink lights. I approve. Right, well, I think that's it, so that was disappointing, but oh well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, maybe. I am doing a voiceover ending again because my GoPro ran out of battery. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And I hope everybody has a really happy Christmas, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a good whatever else you do in this nice holiday period. I will see you guys in the new year. Goodbye.